Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, VC family, music lovers, this is Boris, the vinyl veteran, and obviously I'm doing another video. So uh, recently, in the last couple of days, I, I was watching quite some some stuff on, on YouTube. Um, just just looking around and wanted to know what the other guys are doing, what's new in the this whole BC thing. And I was, yeah, sometimes wondering, sometimes surprised. I found a couple of new channels which are really cool, which I'm really interested in, and of course I followed them and so on. But I found so much weird stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, this, 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 for example, this whole audiophile thing. When people that obviously already have a shitload of money because they have this wonderful basement, custom-made shelves, uh, top-notch hi-fi equipment, obviously went to a shop and said I want this, 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 this for a shitload of money. And then obviously have this abo of all those new tone poet, uh, audio whatever releases and the reviews are always the same. It's more or less wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, and they try to do this analytical thing of, I hear this and that. It's not for me. I mean, I'm doing this this whole stuff for the music. And I'm wondering if, if, if they already have this shitload of money, why do they then have tons of affiliate links that and begging for some more money and, and, and to do some weird comparison videos uh, why ever somebody's need I don't know okay so oh other, other thing is 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 um, if you're new to the YCVC um, best you are female young a little hysterical and you have tons of followers uh, tons of nerds who want to teach you something or just I don't know okay let's stop this I bought a couple of new records. Ah, no, no, other thing, other thing. I just forgot. During this, um, the, this, this, this video watching, I came uh, over an interesting question: the value of your collection. And um, of course, we all, a lot of us, have 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 the uh, collection somehow registered in Discogs and this is a source to, to check what's the value of certain things is. And of course, I, I was curious and had a, lot of a look, look at a couple of things. And first of all, I mean, this, this whole market thing is completely out of control, isn't it? Or Discogs is, is bloody lying or I, I don't know. So for example, this, this well-known Rolling Stones mono box set. When does it came out? Four years ago? Five years ago? Don't remember exactly. I bought it at that time. What was it? 300 bucks? 300 something? And this sold for over 2000? Seriously? Another example. I, I just, just... St. Lincoln Exit. Drive it. I like this record. It's a, it's a fun record. I think I bought it, yeah, as well, maybe five, six, seven years ago, um, just because I liked the cover and, and, and the, the description of the music, I think I spent 10, 12 bucks, something like that. <laughs> and, and I stumbled across that now on Discogs, at last sold for over $500, seriously? Why? I mean, okay, I understood. I, I read about it now that that it's a rarity that they only issued one record. But come on, five hundred bucks? Seriously? I sell it for five hundred bucks. Who's interested? Don't understand. No, I'm not selling it because I'm doing it for the music. But and maybe I think about it. All right, now. 
of course I bought a couple of records. First of all, quite a new discovery for me, uh, the Lost Recordings label. Um, I, I read about it somewhere. I think on, on Framer's page? Might be. And I wanted to have the Sarah Vaughan set, but this was um, sold, so I had a look what else is available. And Art Plakey. This is wonderful. It's, it's, it's uh, dead quiet, dead flat. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but it's, it's the uh, band with Lee Borgen, Benny Golson, Bobby Timmons, uh, Jimmy Merritt. Uh, it's fun to listen to it. Uh, you hear in the introduction of Art Plakey and he's a little bit playing with the audience, making some fun and um, uh, wonderful. Uh, they started with moaning um, and it's, it's killer. Really, really, if, if you can, I think they are quite limited. If you have a chance to grab them, I, I really, um, really recommend it. Um, from the same label, I bought the Dave Prubeck, uh, Live at the Kurhaus, 1967. Also nice, uh, also super quiet, dead flat. Um, I prefer the Art Play key, but um, this is still, this is a still a absolutely beautiful and, and absolutely recommended um, recording. Now to something not that Easy to the year. Don Cherry, where's Brooklyn? Yeah, it's free jazz. And to me, it's challenging to listen to it. I mean, it's it's interesting, but first of all, it's nothing what I can hear in the back. I, I really have to decide that now I want to listen to that. And if I listen one of those records, I'm done for the next two weeks three weeks, four weeks with this kind of music because to me it's it's really, really, really challenging to to dive into that and to understand the music and however um, if you're into jazz, free jazz this for sure is, is something for you and the quality of the record again really, really good uh, what else do I have? yes much more pleasing to the year, Coltrane, uh, Crescent, 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 how is it pronounced? No idea. Wonderful. Um, yeah, it's the new um, series from, from Worf. Uh, it's, it's Worf, right? Yes. What is it? Um, audio, yeah, you, you got it. Um, the 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 the, op the 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 counterpart to 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 the tone poet series, um, the other. Um, gosh, I'm getting old. Forgetting the name. However, uh, Cold Rain, beautiful, highly recommended. Now, away from the jazz, the new eels, witchcraft. I like the Eels. Um, I think they've done better albums. It's a good one. Would I buy it again? Most probably not because I mean they're all pretty similar. Um, and it, yeah, no surprises really. It's not getting any better with them. Um, yeah, Eels. Not bad. Not fantastic. Typical Eels album. Talking about fantastic. Trifecta Fragments. Uh, new discovery and I love them. Um, those guys, Nick Bags, Adam Holtzman, Craig Plunder, uh, former members of the Steve Wilson band. Steve Wilson. Um, and this is the result from a lot of 
jamming they did in between together. Ah, this is so cool and so nice. It's it's jazz rock with electronic with um, fusion. Um, the guys are excellent on their instruments. Uh, it's all instrumental, uh, but a lot of tons of cool stuff. Uh, especially when the organ kicks in, you have the you feel reminded to. Um, Oh, come on, help me, help me. Uh, uh, I'm not getting in. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ, I'm getting all it. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm reminded of... Um, Amazon Lake and Palmer, of course. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe it's too early in the morning. I don't know. It's it's 9 a.m. in Switzerland. So, and I did not sleep that long. <laughs> long. However, uh, Trifecta, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. <laughs> uh, last but not least. Uh, Another one, uh, but I, I just recently grabbed it. It's um, Gaspacho, Fireworker. Uh, prog rock from the more bombastic side, which I like. Um, and yes, of course, um, Gaspacho are also repeating them some kind. But I, I don't want them to be different. Uh, it's a beautiful album. I really, really love it. It's uh, on three sides. And yes, as well, <laughs> highly recommend it. So guys, <laughs> excuse me for my rambling. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I love you all. And um, to each their own. And <laughs> sorry for my destroying mind, not remembering anything. Uh, Hope you have a good week uh, and see you next time. Cheers.